Hey YouTube. Um, just want to go over a couple of things here. I see our friend Pastor Dow has put out a video responding to uh, Pastor Joe Fox's video. What will I do if Hillary wins? And um, you know, he, he he talks about his compound, which I call a cult compound. Um, and he, he seemed like a, a man that's a little bit worried about what's happening. Well, I've been saying for a long time, your best bet is to get out of Babylon, according to Revelation 18, because America is going to burn in one hour. And uh, now Dow and Fox uh, obviously doesn't subscribe to my point of view. I don't know why. Because they claim that they're pastors and they claim to read the Bible, but the Bible flat says in Revelation 18 to come out of her. Okay? It says, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers in her sins, and that ye uh, not receive of her plagues. I don't know how much more clear that can get. But, um, yeah, these guys are in trouble. Because they've established these cult compounds, and they got all these people living there, which you know is a big mystery to me. I can't imagine anybody wanting to live in something and build something up that they don't have any ownership in, not any stock, nothing. I mean, what do you care? What are your kids going to inherit? Like nothing. What happens if you fall out of love with a pastor and you got a bail? What do you walk away with? Your personal property. You, you don't have any assets as far as land or house or anything to sell. But, you know, that's another point. Um, but, you know, Fox is talking about how he's not uh, into politics anymore and he feels like the die is cast. Well, he's right, the die is cast because it's written right in the Word what's going to happen. Right in the Word. So, you know, but the problem is, is these guys don't teach all the Word. They cherry pick Bible verses and you know, twist the facts. I mean, you know, I did a video, the Lord told me, he said, and I really didn't want to do it. I mean, I was hemmed and hawed and resisted, but, you know, talking about 501c3 churches and how they've become whores and how they're sellouts and, and all this. And, uh, you know, Fox did a video saying that's not true. And, you know, you can say anything you want. Well, I guess he hasn't gotten the news media articles, you know, how the, uh, Homeland Security is wanting copies of sermons and everything else. I get, you know, so may, why would they do that if you could say anything you want? Just saying. So, um, I think their best bet is to move their cult, you know, compounds to maybe Guyana or, <laughs> or Paraguay or someplace, Paraguay, or down there where Bush is and Sun Young Moon's got his or whatever. Because America's going to burn. That's just reality. And um, it's not the place you want to be there. And don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-America. But the apathy in America it, it is just taking over. I mean, look at the facts. we got a homosexual in the White House. That's clear and obvious. I mean, look at the front page of you know, the front cover of Newsweek. There he is in his rainbow. You know, halo. You got you got the White House lit up in rainbow colors. Everybody knows that Michelle's really Michael, and uh, so it's a dude in a dress. And you know, ask Joan Rivers. Oh wait, you can't ask Joan Rivers because she exposed it and ended up dead a couple of months later. So I mean, America's got some really serious problems, and. Um, as asleep as the church is, this thing is not going to go away. I mean, I, I used to think that we had a chance to turn it around. I used to be really involved. I'd go to city council meetings and I'd speak on TV and the whole nine yards. And um, I used to run around painting out graffiti, just a little thing painting out graffiti in my neighborhood. But, the, you know, rather than getting support from other people that actually wanted to help and clean up their communities, they, they nicknamed me the... the Graffiti vigilante, <laughs> you know. So it's like these guys wanna wanna just let it all collapse, and so um, 
you know, yeah, you know, Putin is flat, said many, 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 many times that we're heading to nuclear war. Nuclear war. World War Three. It's, it's all over the net. China's basically said the same thing. North Korea said the same thing. So you got three countries right there after the U.S. And um, there's no doubt everybody's aware that our military has been seriously stretched way too thin and is weak and uh, are seriously weakened. Um, love the guys in the military. I used to be in the military. I know what I'm talking about. And But, it, it, you know, common sense just doesn't prevail these days when it comes to what's happening in the military. So, um, you, you guys really need to bail. You know, personally, I live in the Philippines, and we got our own issue with the Spratleys, but the Chinese, they don't want to invade the Philippines. It's all about natural resources. It's all about what China's been doing in Africa. It's all about what the U.S. has been doing all over the world, you know, starting these wars and making up these lies and, you know, calling it human rights or whatever and invading countries. But in the bottom, in the, at the end, you know, it, it all comes out. It's all about natural resources. So, you know, China's no different, and they've learned it from us. And incidentally, you know, the reason they're so powerful today is because we've given them the technology, because our corporations sold us out. They're so, they're so cheap, you know, they, they wanted to hire people for a couple of dollars an hour rather than a reasonable pay, you know, wage like people in America expect for their wages and their work and the government's allowed them to do it. So we've been sold down the river, uh, no doubt. And, um, you know, we're, we're in really big trouble. So my advice to you is to get out. I've got a Flea Babylon page on my website. And, um, you know, I haven't gotten a lot of hits on it. You know, well, I've got a lot of hits, but I haven't gotten a lot of interest. It was a service that I used to provide for free. But now if you want my time, you want my knowledge, you know, I'm gonna have to charge you because I don't I don't get that much support from my ministry, and I'm so sitting over here in Catholic country in the middle of the Philippines with a church down the street with the eye of Horus right over the front door, that the locals think is the eye of God, and it's a pagan symbol, and um, you know, so I'm doing my best to wake Catholics up, but I've got restrictions, you know, so I've been pleading and begging for missionaries and pastors and everything to, you know try to get people to come over here and help me. But being a resident, I'm somewhat restricted on how much heat, you know, I can put on because they'll, in all honesty, they'll throw me out of the country. But I can help people come here um, that aren't residents. So that was kind of what I was hoping to do. People that, uh, you know, wanted to, you know, they, they do missions and stuff like that. So. I could provide free housing and um, food. You know, hey, I'll ask you to go out and talk to people and save some souls because really that's what this life is all about. It's about souls. It's not about stuff. It's not about where you live. It's about souls. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, glorifying Jesus and, um, you know, being obedient to the word. And, um, you know, another thing I want to talk about real quick is one, these guys never talk about the real root issues. You know, they never talk about Genesis 6, and that's the root of, of all our trouble, uh, getting back to the Garden of Eden. And um, I know Dow's been affiliated with the black Hebrew Israelites, though he seems to be distancing himself a little bit because I put so much heat on him. I got videos out, almost 10,000 views, I think, at this point. And uh, so he's backing off, and now actually, much to my surprise, and I give you, I give him credit, Dow, if you're watching this, <coughs> but um, he's actually talking about Galatians 3, you know, 28. So, which, you know, it, it doesn't matter what race you are, white, black, red, yellow, doesn't matter. We're all one if we're in Christ, exactly like the Bible says. So I'm glad Dow's waking up. Thank God for that. Um, so, you, you know, 
getting back to what's happening, they don't, they don't talk about Genesis 6. They don't talk about the terrors that are among us. The, the, and I view it as the literal seed of Satan. If you look at Matthew 13, it talks about the seed of Satan. Uh, you got the Jonathan Clex running around talking about how we're all fallen angels and how we're all Satan's seed. It's a false se uh, se uh, Satan seed doctrine started by William Brannan and uh, Arnold Murray, Murray, or at least promoted by Brannan and Murray and among others. And, and you, you know, Clex got all these followers, you know, and some of the stuff he says is true about uh, how they telegraph their moves and how there's logos and things on money and corporate logos and things like that. Hey, I'm a, that's true, but we're not all fallen angels. Collect, you got some screws loose. And to Dow, Fox, and uh, Collect will ban you and remove your comments. So they're, they're deck stackers. You know, they claim to be Christians, but they're not. You know, well, Dow doesn't claim to be Christian because he badmouths Christians. He says, you know, all Christians you know, or connected to the Catholic Church was isn't a lie because if he read his Bible, you know, they were first the apostles were first called called Christians in Antioch, and that was almost three hundred years before the Catholic Church even started. Was started by Constantine, who took pagan and mixed it with Christianity, and that's where the Catholic Church came from. I've told him I don't know countless times, but. You know, he just ignores me and he keeps pre preaching and teaching the lie and, and people eat it up because they don't read their scriptures. But getting into that, you know, if you got bad eyesight like me because you spend too much time on the computer, you know, get yourself um, a, uh, a version, you know, an MP3 version. This is what I have. I've had it for years and years and years. And, it, you know, if you can't, if you always get tired, you can always listen to it. I mean, I listen to this thing all the time so you know I even go to sleep with it a lot you know start with the book of John that's one of my favorite books you see here I've got over 100 views on on just the book of John alone but um, the, the word is there and stop relying on these 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 preachers and teachers that have hidden agendas man because you know Dow wants you at his place because he profits you 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 guys that are living there building it building his land up and making him rich. You're providing free labor. The same thing with Joe Fox. It's crazy. I don't know what you guys are thinking. I don't know why you guys can't see that. But yeah, I mean, the Indians are getting restless because they see the, they hear the war drums. And yeah, war drums are coming. And uh, it's just a matter of time. You know, Hillary's in bad health. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if she's going to get elected. The, you know, alternative media is doing surveys saying Trump's going to win by a landslide, but mainstream media is in the, the hip pocket of, uh, of uh, um, you know, the establishment. And, um, you know, I think somebody just came out and said, yeah, one of the top announcers with CNN says, yeah, we've helped Hillary all we can. So... I mean, the whole deck stack, the whole thing is corrupt all the way around. People need to wake up. I'm just trying to shoot straight with you um, and tell you the facts. We need to get out of Babylon, okay, because you're not going to turn this thing around. And just like Revelation says here, if you remain in Babylon, you will receive her plagues, okay? That's the reason it says to get out, so you won't receive her plagues. But, um, hey, you guys can listen or not. It's your choice. I've done my very best. I'm doing my best to save souls over here in the Philippines. But, you know, I ain't getting a lot of support. It seems like, you know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, Christian by name only. But when it comes to actually doing something and lifting a finger, they'll talk a lot. But when it comes down to spending some time um, or, or donating some resources or something, there ain't no love there, you know, but they'll talk love, 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 love your brother, love your brother. They need to listen to what David Wilkerson says. It's all, you know, all these people talking about love. It's all cliches. He says it has nothing to do with this book. Listen to the video. Um, the Great Apostasy. There's two versions. There's an hour-long version, and then there's a short version called uh, The Great Apostasy Sherman, uh, Sermon Jam. It's only 10 minutes. 
he nails it. So with that, I love you. And uh, if I can help you guys in any way, let me know. If you feel the need to get out of Babylon and want to come to the Philippines, that's great. I can't promise you it's the greatest place, but I can tell you Chinese don't want to come over here and invade us. They just want the natural resources of the Spatleys. They got a massive, 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 massive smog problem. They burn a lot of coal, and um, there's natural gas there, among other things. So that's what it's all about. And, um, you know, and maybe some fish. But Philippines isn't going to go to war over fish. And they don't have the resources to, you know, do anything with the natural gas. So, if, you know, I, I personally feel that the Philippines is still among one of the safest, best countries around because it's English-speaking for the most part. And uh, people are pretty casual. So, but hey, if that's not your cup of tea and you feel like going somewhere else, I think it's time to stick your nose out and look around and see what kind of options there are out there. Because I really don't suggest staying in the U.S., folks. I'm sorry. I got friends and family back there. And I worry about you every single day. So if any of you guys are watching, you know, get out. Get out of Babylon. Okay? Love you. Again, if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Take care and God bless you now. Bye-bye.